All right, guys, so to give you an idea of what's going on here with my quad Sima X5C, this upper right rotor seems to be suspect and has, a, I think, a bent rotor, which is causing it to want to pull towards the right, too. It won't hover normally. It wants, as soon as it leaves the ground, go up and towards the right. So I'll show you what that looks like here just as a demonstration. You could also suspect a, a bad motor, but I do think it's the rotor, and I'll show you why here in a minute. But here's what it looks like when it tries to take off. So it's pulling to the right, and when you try to steer it also, front to back works a little bit, but uh, left to right is really a big problem. Um, here, you can see that here if I do this real quick. So it's definitely uh, either a motor or a bent rotor, so let's take a look real close at the rotors. So like I mentioned, if you look closely at each rotor and give it a rotation with your finger, you can take a look at what you're looking for is the verticalness of the rotor. Um, how straight is this up and down part here and does it move when you turn the prop slowly. So if you turn this prop you can see it looks like this vertical surface is more leaning one way or the other as I turn it and that it's not perfectly straight. And that's what I think is causing the quad to want to list over towards the right every time I try to take off. So let's replace this um, bent rotor portion. Okay, so once you get your quad taken apart completely, you have to take off all four props and separate the two halves. We're working on just the lower half here, and here's the, uh, the bad uh, rotor shaft is inside here. We're going to have to pull hard and remove this piece here, and uh, the rest of the motor shaft will slide out the bottom here. Um, if you want to make it a little bit easier to work on, you can pop this whole assembly off. Just take a, a screwdriver or any kind of little pointed object and grab it and you can um, use it like a lever and just kind of get underneath here and just kind of lift and pop it up and off. So now you've got the whole thing just so you can uh, work with in your hands, maybe a little easier with a pair of pliers. Okay, I'd use quite a bit of force with that. I pulled straight out on this uh, I guess where the propeller connects to the top of the the shaft and when I pulled out um, it came apart at the at the wheel at this wheel it separated there and then I noted that there's actually a uh, extra piece that is included too and it's the center uh, piece here it's a slide it's kind of acts like a, a shaft for this metal piece to spin inside of so when we go to put on the new part which is right here we're gonna slide that piece over the uh, motor shaft first kind of uh, if you don't do this in the right order you're in big trouble right because uh, then it won't be able to be reassembled in the right way so you'd put it on like that so that it's on there and then put it back through the the motor shaft and then we'll put this other uh, plastic gear piece back on okay so we got the new motor shaft installed um, the rotor shaft I should say when you press it in the one thing to keep in mind too is when you push this part in and put on the new part make sure you push down enough so that when you're looking at this here there's no play where this gear wants to go up and down there should be very little play because um, if it goes too high it'll disengage from the motor drive gear and not uh, turn your prop at all so let's put this thing back together test it out and see if it worked okay guys here's the result after the uh, rotor replacement Bottom line is <clears throat> it still wants to pull a little bit to the right uh, when I take off. Um, it's not turning right either. It doesn't want to uh, tilt left and tilt right. Front to back is okay, but uh, it looks like I'm going to have to also replace the top right motor, which I did in a previous video. So um, let me try that, but here's what it looks like now. see if it just wants to go to the right won't hover in place I can't force it to hover in place at all so uh, let's see what it looks like after motor replacement all right guys so after a little bit of testing and getting the new motor put in in the same top right area uh, where the rotor was replaced now we're not pulling anymore to the right so that's resolved and uh, must have been a really bad crash I put the thing through 
Um, but yeah, it's finally working right. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this film. I'll show you how it flies here at the end. But uh, if you did like this one, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day, guys. Oh my god! <laughs>